Nah, Donald, is 100% going to be worth something higher than 100? All that lard could power a lantern for years and years, not to mention all the meat that man probably has on him. Dude, Def has a higher value. Okay, that is kind of sus, the way you're saying it, Joe. Start putting the stuff on the deposit area so we can ring the bell. I'm not trying to hang out here when there's a chance we might not make quota. Bro, you got to be getting some satellite interference with that toupee in your headset. We're going to make quota, man. We already said that. Heck, we're probably going to have leftover stuff. Yeah, Obama's right. You see all these big things we got? A freaking engine, for God's sake. Nah, bro, we're set, and I think we won't have to worry about it. And like Obama said, we can just give you up if we don't make it. Ring, ring, progresso head ass. Hurry up and take our haul. Donald, don't piss it off. Donald, you can't piss it off, man. What if it hears you and decides to take you instead? Then we're going to be down a man. All right, let's see what this paycheck is. Hopefully it's like 300-ish. Uh, let's go. That's a good 395 right there. We can dip and go to the next moon. Good job, lads. And we still have the sign, which is worth like 30, so we have a good starting point for the next one. Just hopefully this one doesn't have some fucking puddles that you guys can drown in like you did on the last one. Hey, Obama walked right off that cliff and drowned. I tried to help, but was unable to. Really can't blame me for trying to be helpful when it was his blind ass self couldn't see a big cliff. You didn't try to help, you walked in with me acting like you were trying to do some Spider-Man saving MJ. Nah, you were just too stupid to realize you didn't have to follow me wherever I went. All right, shut up, y'all. Both stupid. New quota is 227. All right, that seems pretty free. You guys ready to go to the next moon? Hurry the shit up, Obama, your ass over there playing Minecraft or some Flash game on that shit. Come on, dude, just pick a moon. There's a lot more to this than just picking a moon orange ape. I'm trying to make sure we don't go to a moon that has a mother freaking giant or some big ass worm. I'm trying to pick one that we don't have a risk a lot. Of course the Dem tries to find the easiest way out. See if it were me picking. I'd pick the hardest one and make it my bitch. Then all the other moons would fear me. Oh, shut up with that prison mentality you got going on, Donald. You saw that in a Shawshank. Acting like that would apply here. How would the moons even communicate? I have one fat monster who can't run and one who can't walk. Do y'all think we can take on the hardest moon? Hell no, we're better off going to Hello Kitty Playland at Disney World, and even that might be beat. Wait, did Donald crash? Where is Donald? Obama, do you see Donald? Oh my God, this dude really is over here hitting the old shindig behind the cabinet. Ain't got nothing better to do when our commander on the terminal over there is about as quick as a Windows XP computer that uses dial-up. Hey man, that wasn't that slow. Sure it was slow compared to things we have now. But it wasn't that slow back then. Shit was like revolutionary. All right, I got our moon. It says this one should be that dangerous. But then again, the name of the game is Lethal Company. We're probably going to encounter some lethal beings. We already encountered Donald, who probably had a better chance of eating us than the actual monsters on the moons. I think we're going to be all right since we haven't been ate so far. First off, I bet if I ate you, it would taste like old pennies that you find at the bottom of your mom's purse. And if I ate Obama, well, I don't think I would eat Obama. I, I, is that a compliment or like an insult? Was that supposed to be targeted at me or was it just like a, oh, you wouldn't eat me because you like me? Yo, Donald, you think if I, uh, you know, he'd get mad? Vegas odds are looking pretty good for it. You hit me again, you old decrepit fuck, and I'll throw your hollow ass out the door. I have limited health, and if you continue to eat away at it, well, I'm going to eat away at what little chromosome count you have and use you as bait every second we're in this mission. Yeah, I told him not to do it, but lo and behold, the man couldn't help himself. You should probably keep considering him a threat. Oh, shut up, man. I heard you back him up. You know you were right beside me, right? God, man, you'd think you'd have a little bit of honesty with that toupee you got on. I mean, you've probably been humbled your whole life. Humble your lies, why don't you? Big Bird, this is Bravo 6. We're on the site of the next moon. We're moving in over. Bravo 6, kindly shut up. We don't care. Over. Call of Duty headass is always trying to reference the past because it takes them back to the age of when they were only in their 70s and not their 80s. Wait, Obama, did you buy us stuff? Did you buy the better flashlights? Is that why you took so long? Oh my God, you actually got us stuff, didn't you? Bro, are you kidding me? You had to say that out loud. Yes, I bought the better flashlights. I believe they should be coming from the tree thing. Let's go, these plastic ass flashlights are doo-doo dog water on my mother. Got me in a boogie kind of mood. Like, honestly, I'm so happy we get better ones. We should turn some music on or something to celebrate. Hopefully they are better. God knows how much Obama spent on them. 
All right, I think the rocket is here. Yeah, it's back here. Come on, guys. I think they're supposed to be better, but there is always a chance they're the same, just with a longer distance. I'm surprised I actually lucked out and you didn't stiff me on one. Usually you would do some cheese like that. Wait, where is my flashlight? I don't see it. Is it glitched under the rocket or something? Obama, where is my flashlight? Oh yeah, about that. We kind of didn't have enough for everyone to get one. And you got beat to the only two we had, but hey, at least you still have one flashlight. You're probably better off with that one anyway. Dang, Obama really did you dirty like that. I wouldn't let that slide if I were you, Joe. I would, I don't know, piss in his cornflakes or take the batteries out of his flashlight. No, it's like that. That's fine. That's fine. I'm fine. I just can't wait until something happens and I'm needed. Oh, God. I'm going to make sure my flashlight and my will to help dies. Bro, it's just sacrifices you have to make. It's nothing personal. I just didn't tell you all about only getting two because it needed to be fair for all of us. I technically didn't make it, so you were the only one who didn't get one. Nah, you're good. You're fine, man. Don't worry about it. I'll live. The question is, will you... Oh, you done it now, Obama. Even I wouldn't stiff homie from a flashlight. You acting like you made it fair. But the only thing you made fair was that he would likely not have the reflexes to get it. You gave us an advantage, and you're going to get screwed over for it now, little bro. I'm not going to get screwed over because I actually know how to find the entrance while you both are wandering around like that one librarian from the back rooms who only attack when it heard stuff. Now nah, we're good. We're just taking the long way. We're going to find the entrance. We always do, man. We're just like that. I'd rather take the long way and find the safest route than go in as quickly as possible and have a chance of falling or getting attacked by a monster. Guess that's an excuse, but the logic ain't there. You want to take the long way to have a safer way when you could have just went. You know what? I'm not going to say it. I'll just watch TikToks while y'all handicapped selves find the way around. Imagine grinding this game out and bullying people for not knowing the ways to the entrance. Kind of funny, not going to lie. Catch me on Demonologist and you'll feel a different way.